Hello everybody, the Drafter here and welcome to another tutorial in my Sky Factory survival series. This is episode number 7 and today we are gonna talk about something very hot, a hot topic. In fact, we are gonna see together, we're gonna find out together how to generate lava in Sky Factory. Yes, you're right, we're gonna create lava out of nothing. Thanks to, you can guess, thanks to what? Hex Nihilo, the Hex Nihilo mob. So I created, I put down another barrel and I moved um, this stuff over here in a little work zone, work area. Also, I um, produced more, uh, more cobble and put cobblestone slab over here uh, because, yeah, we are gonna deal with lava and we live in a world made of wood. So, yeah, you can see it, why. Uh, I went down with the water elevator to do this, to put the block down. So basically you just take a water source, a water bucket, you put it down here and you swim down and then you put the blocks you want and then you come back up. That's how I created this as well. This will be most useful because what we're gonna need is uh, let's take one of the buckets yeah I made another bucket just in case just in case and uh, let's take a couple of dirt let's also take uh, 10 cobblestone blocks yeah and we will also need torch torches so first thing we're gonna need is a uh, infinite water source like so played pretty common vanilla stuff so now you can get your water back and put it into the barrels mm, what we need first to make lava out of nothing is something called uh, a crucible let me show you unfinished um, unf mm -hmm. unfired crucible sorry um, this is made out of porcelain yeah, always from Hex Nihilo. Porcelain is made out of clay and bone meal. One clay, one bone meal. And uh, how can we create clay? Well, that's very simple. Uh, we need to put uh, sand. Uh, I need to, yeah, I need to create first sand. So let's go ahead and make sand out of cobblestone. Uh, so just grab your hammer, crush the cobblestone and get the gravel where is my gravel my gravel is here i don't know why i took the the, the dirt well, maybe a bit confused so put down your gravel crash it with the hammer and you get sand now take a full mm, a barrel full of water and put the sand in oh no sorry we need dust we need dust sorry 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 just crash again the sand and you get dust dust is very useful for this reason because we want to put it down in the barrel of water then click right click again and you get the clay clay block a regular minecraft clay block okay we crush the, the clay <laughs> the clay block and we get clay balls now as i said we're gonna need seven clay balls so we are gonna store one in our chest that we not need and we are grabbing seven seven bone meals combine them together in the crafting bench or crafting table whatever and now you are ready to make your unfired crucible now this needs to be cooked in a furnace so grab let's grab a piece of charcoal it's cheap and let's wait for the crucible to be cooked or fired now we're gonna need just one torch let's grab one torch only and a couple more uh, cobblestone blocks I'm gonna save those gravel block over there okay we have our crucible finished crucible did I put back the water no I didn't so let's put back water into the barrels it's useful if we need more dust you can also sieve dust remember that now the crucible works in this way you need to put it above a source of heating in this case a torch the torch will be probably the not probably for sure the slower source of heating for the crucible 
then you're gonna take your cobblestone and you're gonna put it in here so for five piece of each a piece of cobblestone will generate 250 millibuckets of lava you will constantly fill this with cobblestone it will take a while uh, each block of cobblestone uh, will melt as you, I hope you can see it the cobblestone level is slowly 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 going down the torch will take uh, 500 seconds to melt four cobblestone blocks so it's something like eight minutes more than eight minutes so we're gonna wait here and wait for the cobblestone to melt and produce lava let's just speed up this video in order to see how it happens live guys And that's our first block of lava. Well, not really because we cannot pick it up already. The bear, the crucible is not full. So let's just keep feeding the crucible with uh, cobblestone and let's wait a little bit more, guys. And let's see if our lava block source is ready. Not yet, so let's feed it with more cobblestone. That's the eighth block I'm using. And this, I think this will go fast, fast enough. So let's wait a few more seconds till this last block of cobblestone melts. And there you go. With our right mouse click with an empty bucket, we have an awesome super awesome block of lava lava source block and this is how you create lava out of nothing thanks to hex nihil um well we're gonna use this block of lava you can imagine for what for create to create a cobblestone generator but for the moment let's put it somewhere safe <laughs> we're holding a bucket of lava on a world of wood again that's not very comfortable so the whole process took took a while and uh, let me just mention that here the best fire source eat, eating source you can have is fire so whenever you have for example netherrack in a future episode we will see how to get netherrack uh, you can put netherrack here and lead it up with the flint and steel you can also use a lead furnace and yeah if you can find a way to automate the process of uh, feeding a furnace it will be lit up and constantly constantly heat the crucible so this will keep uh, melting i guess we will have lava again i will put more cobblestone if needed in between episodes i will create the cobblestone generator it's plain vanilla stuff but it's anyway interesting to to see how to do it probably because yeah we will see it uh, in a new way in kind of a new way and uh, yeah we got our lava source um thank you very much in advance for any new subscription and like to this video and comments uh, they will have my help my channel and they will keep this series alive if you like it and uh, we will see you next time guys thank you very much for watching ciao ciao